Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about Squarespace SEO and we're going to cover three general topics. The first is meta tags, number two is content marketing, and the third is link building. So let's start with meta tags. Navigate to your home section, go to settings, and scroll down you want to click SEO. All right, so here we have two important meta tags. The most important is the home page title tag. Here's where you want to input keywords that are relevant to your business. So I have about five or six words in here, and then I have the name of my website at the end. So this title tag does two things. It sends information to search engines, like Google, regarding the contents of your website. It also encourages users to click on your website. So when you write this as your title tag, let's do an example, and we're going to search classic motorcycles. The title tag shows up here. It's the first thing somebody sees when they do a Google search. So it's important because it tells search engines what your page is about, but it also serves to encourage people to click on your website. So not only do you want to have keywords in here, classic, motorcycles, but you want to craft it with keywords and the language that will encourage people to go to your site. So let's briefly talk about the meta description. So the meta description should be under 160 characters. The meta description displays right here. And as you can see, if it's too long, it'll get cut off and they'll just put some dots in there. Now, if you don't put a meta description in here, Google will make one and that's fine, not a big deal. You probably want to have a custom meta description. So just brief information about your site, put it in there. Those are the two meta tags for your home page. Down here we have title tags for your main blog page, which lists all of your blogs, and each individual blog page. And you just want to make sure that you have the blog, the title of the blog at the front, and your company name at the end, not the other way around. In particular, for each individual blog post, you want the blog post title tag at the front. Otherwise, when you display here, your company name will display first, and if you're writing a how-to article or a services page or anything, you want the first thing that displays to be what the page is rather than your company name. All right, so that's it for SEO settings. You want to save that and go back a couple times and we're going to navigate to pages. So in here is where you're going to start putting title tags for all of your content. Now if you're just starting out you may just have a couple pages here and that's fine but it's really important for those pages that you input a title tag. If you didn't see that I just clicked on a little gear icon that pops up right here click on that and it opens your page settings and in your page settings right here is where you specify your title tag and again all the same things that I just talked about apply get your keywords towards the front you can have up to about 60 characters so I could have a little bit more in here but in this particular instance I, I kept it short and here's your meta description in my template, which is Hayden, the meta description displays here in the banner. And for that reason, I didn't want 160 characters in here displaying in my banner. So for my template, I don't do the meta description for individual pages. I just let Google create that. Regardless, the main thing you want to focus on is the title tag. After that, you want to hit Save. Now, with content marketing, you want to create content that's engaging, informative, 
and interesting for anybody who may come to your site. So this page is about SEO services, online marketing services, and as you can see, you can navigate to any of these individual pages, or if you'd like, you can scroll down and get more information. You can click here or here and get more information. And I try to keep these descriptions pretty short because people on the internet have really short attention spans. And so the way you lay it out can vary from page to page. This is just how my services page is laid out. And if you want to find out different ways of laying out pages, I have a Squarespace for Beginners guide that shows you different ways of laying out your content, how to add blocks, and make an engaging page. So you just want a, the right combination of images and um, good text and navigation to keep people moving around throughout your site. The last thing I'll mention is the third topic is link building. You need links to your site to get traffic. So every time you get a link, for example, if I if I made this word, if I turned it into a link that pointed to Google or to Walmart or wherever it pointed, that website is getting what people call link juice. And link juice or links are basically a signal that search engines receive that say, hey, this is a good site. It's so good that I linked to it here. And the more links you get that point to your site, the more powerful your domain or your website will be. And over time, when you collect more and more links, your website gains authority, it gains trust, and that will also help you in search engines. And that's a really big topic, so that's, that's as much as we'll go into here. The last thing that I'll mention that's really important is getting set up with search engines. You want to be set up in Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools because they need to know that your website exists and how it's structured. And I would highly recommend visiting this page. There will be a link below the video you're watching to this page. And it's got a lot of information on getting set up and it details a lot of the things we talked about here today about SEO. And that's all I've got for you today, folks. Good luck, and we'll be back soon.